What's up, YouTube, e-bike world? It's Chris, and I ain't crossing no wires today. I'm scribble scrabbling. I know that look like some chicken scratch down there. But hopefully, you can look at this and have a better understanding of how I Frankenstein my battery system together. My 70 volt battery system. Now, like I explained in one of my other videos, originally, before I ran on 70 volts, I originally ran on 52 volts. And I had two of those 52 volts, as you can see here. One there, and one there. Both of them were 25 amp hour, and I ran them in parallel, meaning you connect the two negative sides together and the two positive sides together. That will double your capacity, but keep your voltage the same. So after I ran those in parallel, I had a big old 52 volt battery, but in Instead of being 25 amp hour, because I had two of them, it was 50 amp hour. And that was my battery system at one period of time. Okay. So then I decided that I wanted to increase the voltage and run a 72 volt system. And I started pricing some 72 volt batteries. And they were high as a kite. Okay. So... What I ended up doing was uh, the guy, Jerry Huga, I think that's how you say his name. He's on YouTube. He sells uh, all types of 18650 uh, battery packs, used scooter battery packs, used e-bike battery packs, uh, computer battery packs. He, are, he harvests 18650s out of everything. Okay? So, I bought. 236 volt batteries from him very cheap they were $35 a piece and as you know let me make a negative side there and a positive side there this is uh the 36 volt battery I got from him and I got two of them and I ran those 236 volts in series okay and that gave me a 72 volt system battery system however however as you can see those battery packs were only 12.5 amp hour which is not much not much at all it's very small so when you run batteries in series the capacity doesn't double the voltage doubles but the capacity stays the same so Initially, I had a 72-volt battery system with 12.5 uh, amp-hour capacity. All right. Now, it was cool. It made my bike faster. However, like I said, it didn't last long. And even with those two fully charged, I had tremendous voltage sag i mean it would sag well you know a 72 volt battery pack fully charged was 84 volts that's fully charged at 4.2 volts a piece per cell and um it would dip down fully charged from 84 volts all the way down to uh ooh, maybe like 71 volts that was fully charged and after you ride for a while i mean it starts sagging, dipping back into the 60s. So when it starts dipping back into the 60s, uh, all that speed that I had gained, it starts slowing back down again because you're getting back close to uh, a 52-volt system again, fully charged. So that didn't really do me any good. So I wanted to get a big old 72-volt battery pack because I knew the 72 volts definitely was giving me more speed but I needed more capacity. So I priced some 72 volt 50 amp hour battery packs. 
and I like the 50 amp hour. I had already experienced how much uh, range I had with a 50 amp hour 52 volt battery pack. So the 72 volt 50 amp hour battery packs, man, they're going for, if you don't know, especially one of those light speed packs, it depends on what kind of, what kind of uh, 72 volt battery you get, you know, the cheap Chinese ones or a really good one with good cells in it. But a good battery with good cells will run you about 2,500, almost three grand for a 72 volt 50 amp hour. Look it up. So, unless you totally DIY it from scratch, I mean, building a pack, you know, purchasing the cells, putting all the cells together, that's about the cheapest way you could do it. However, I came up with an even cheaper way because I already had two 52 volt, 25 amp hour battery packs. That's I already had that. That's what I was running. And I wanted 72 volts. What I would have normally done in that situation is put a 20 volt battery in series with the 52 volt battery and that would have gave me 72 volts, which was what I was looking for. However, even purchasing a 20 volt 50 amp hour battery pack is pretty expensive as well. So, since I had the 236s that I got from Jerry Hooger, what I decided to do then was cut each one of these 36 volt batteries packs in half. Now, if you cut a 36 volt battery pack in half, that'll give you 18 volts. 18 volts. And out of two battery packs, that will give you four 18 volt battery packs okay are you with me now 18 volts is not 20 volts so that ain't gonna give me 72 however that will give me 70 volts so my plan was to run this 18 volt battery system that i was getting out of those two 36 volts and as you can see i have it here each 36 volt, remember now, I got two 18 volt packs out of each 36 volt. So that means I had four in total, four 18 volt battery packs. Now those were 12.5 amp hour, okay? Now when I cut them in half, making it 18 volts, that didn't increase the... Uh, well, it double it doubled the amp hours then when I when I put those in parallel. So I tied all four 18 volt batteries together. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Now that keeps the volts the same. 18 volts. But because each one of those 18 volt battery packs was 12.5 amp hour, 12.5 plus 12.5 is 25. 12.5 over here plus 12.5 is 25. 25 and 25 is 50. So out of those two 36 volt 12.5 amp hour batteries, I now had a 18 volt 50 amp hour battery. So instead of confusing yourself looking at it as all these little batteries, look at it as one big battery. All right. One one huge 18 volt battery. And it's th that's a huge 18 volt battery. All right. Because, uh, all right, if we talk about, now I don't want to confuse you by breaking it down like this, but a, eight, a 36 volt battery pack is a 10S. 10 cells in series. Okay. Now, when you cut a 36 volt battery pack in half, which is 10 in series, that will give you five uh, cells in series. Five cells in series is 18 volts. Now, because I was doubling the capacity, they were no longer six in parallel. Like this was a 10S, this 36 volt originally was a 10S, 6P, 10 cells in series, six in parallel. 
cutting it in half made it five in series, 12 in parallel, two of them. Four of them make it five in series, 24 in parallel. But you don't have to worry about the cells and how many in series and how many in parallel. Don't let that confuse you. Bottom line is it was an 18 volt battery pack, 50 amp hour. Now, as you can see, let's go back to the beginning. Those 252s in parallel, that gave us one huge 52 volt 50 amp hour battery okay go back over here to those four 18 volt packs tie them all together in parallel that gave us one huge 18 volt 50 amp hour battery pack so now we're so now we're at two battery packs a 52 volt one and an 18 volt one now i ran those two packs in series and I come up with 70 volts 70 volts 50 amp hour now 70 volts to me is close enough to 72 no it's not 72 it's 70 but uh I'll take I'll take the short losing two volts when I'm saving 2500 bucks you know I'll, I'll take that short. So, it still puts me in the same range as a 72 volt pack. Because, as I said before, a 72 volt pack, fully charged, and fully charged is 4.2 volts per cell. That's why they tell you a, a 50, 52 volt pack fully charged is 58.8 volts. That's because, uh, you know, it's uh, you got 14 cells times 4.2. I shouldn't even confuse you with that. But anyway, normally a 72 volt pack, like I said, is uh, 84 volts fully charged. So this 70 volt pack is 80 volts fully charged. So like I said, it puts me in the same range. You know, I'm just losing a couple volts, but... Uh, Hey, like I said, I'll take that two volt loss to save 2,500 bucks. Now, I'm going to leave that, this diagram on this, oh, sorry about that, on the screen for a little bit. And uh, so you can take a screenshot of that, so you can look at it and understand it. But that, is my battery system and as I said it cost me $70 to go from a 52 volt battery system to a 70 volt battery system when normally you would have to go out and buy a 72 volt 50 amp hour battery pack like I said that's 2500 bucks so you do the math, and you tell me. Now, you want 72 votes on the dot? Then, hey, you go spend 2500 bucks. But if you want to do it, if you... And this is not going to work for everybody. This will work for guys that already have two 52-volt packs. And I think those are aerial riders. The ones with the... Uh, dual motor dual battery systems i think they have dual 52 volt packs and uh those juice bikes a, a guy was asking me you know to diagram this because he has a juice bike and he has two 52 volt packs so anyway i wanted to do this diagram i tried i explained it verbally in one of my other videos but i mean if you're really not into electronics and Ohm's Law and series parallel circuits, I mean, uh, that might confuse you a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's really not that hard. You know, don't let all that confuse you. 
putting them all together. The bottom line is at the end of the day, you only have this. One 52 volt battery and one 18 volt battery. Because you tie them all together. Two 52, 225 amp hour 52 volt batteries in parallel is the same thing as a 52 volt 50 amp hour battery. And the same thing over here. Four 18 volt battery packs in parallel and they're 12.5 amp hours a piece is the same thing as a 18 volt 50 amp hour battery pack. And this worked out pretty good for me because uh, it, it was just the luck. <laughs> it was just my luck that those 236 volt packs were 12.5 amp hours. You know, that equaled up four of them when I cut them in half. It equaled up to 50 amp hour. Now, does it have to be 50 amp hour exactly to be in series with the 52 volt pack? No. Th these could have been, they could have been 15, 15 amp hour battery packs. You know, that would have changed the amp hours here. However, it would have been more than 50 amp hour. And more is not going to hurt your, you know, this system here. If you have more amp hours in your your smallest battery, what you don't want to have is your 52 volt 50 amp hour pack in series with a 18 volt uh, 20 amp hour battery pack. The 18 volt battery pack is going to go dead way before the 50 amp hour pack. So you might have 70 volts for about a third of your ride. And then when the 18 volt battery pack goes dead, then you're, <laughs> you're back dead in the water. So you want to have the amp hours as close as possible. So they're draining at the same time. Like I said, would it hurt if, if, if when the total of these made, uh, let's say, 60 amp hours? In series with a 50 amp hour, I mean, nah, that ain't that ain't that big a deal. And especially since the smaller pack had more amp hours. This was your largest pack. So, uh, yeah, the 50 amp hour is going to go dead faster than the 60 amp hour. But, I mean, when this 52 volt goes dead, you're dead. That's most of your volts right there. And uh, I shouldn't even be putting saying that because that might confuse you too, people too. But anyway, like I said, at the end of the day, it's just 52 volts in series with 18 volts. Gives me 70 volts for cheap. For cheap. And that's what I'm all about is doing things as cheap as possible. Okay. That's it. To my buddy out there with them, uh, that juice bike. With them 252s, I hope that helped you out, man. Uh, if not, hit me back up, and I'll get you straight, man. We'll get it figured out. Now, I want to say this to uh, uh, people listening. You can make a 72-volt even if you don't have 252-volt packs. Let's say you got 48-volt packs. You're going to want to try to you know, build another pack that will give you close to 70 volts. As if zooming in like that. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. That's it. That's it, guys. You know, Whatever size your packs are, calculate, you know, add them up. Figure out, figure out what you need to add up to 72 volts or as close as possible. You know. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. Deuces.